in our lives, we are always faced by people who insist that our dreams and ambitions cannot be realized. I think they can. I think that in each and every one of us, there is the inner strength to dream and achieve. But the key is to keep pushing. For instance, when I told my mother that um, I have a TED talk, uh, a TEDx Ramallah, she uh, said, She's Egyptian, so without her knowing, she actually confirmed my topic. That we have to keep pushing. We have to keep pushing against the cynics and neg negativity. We have to keep pushing even when you're consumed by your own fear or paralyzed by your own doubts. As an Arab woman, I had to keep pushing even harder to be heard, to shape my own future and career and to write my story in my own words. And that is exactly what I did a month ago when I decided to participate in a solo bike race of 240 kilometers from the Dead Sea all the way to Aqaba in Jordan. So um, each and every kilometer of that race reminded me of my life, pushing against doubt of those around me, but more importantly, of my own. When I thought of joining the race, I had very little practice, a back injury and no sleep. My cycling mates and my husband were telling me, it's insane to try to make it. You can't do it. But I pushed through their negativity and I said, you know what, I'm going. So I went and I made it to the start line. I was 15 minutes late. I was late, I had to catch up, but at least I was in the race. I always had to play catch up. I graduated from a public school where I was never motivated never encouraged to have a mind of my own, or even play. I did very poorly in Tawjihi, and my English was miserable. I, although I was no artist, I was able to get into a governmental university and study graphic design. In my first day in university, I was standing in a queue in a fast food uh, restaurant, um, Quick Burger, and I was trying to memorize my order. Wahad cheeseburger, wahad batata, wahad pepsi, wahad cheeseburger, wahad batata, wahad pepsi. But when I got to the cashier, I, I got so scared and I lost my voice. So I turned around and I left without ordering and I went home hungry. I was a shy girl with no confidence. But I said to myself, if I wanted to achieve my ambitions, I needed to speak to strangers every day, and I also needed to eat. So I went back the next day, and I tried harder, and I tried harder to find that voice. In the first semester, I came last in my class, and a professor told me, you don't belong here. I was disappointed and I was worried because I didn't know how to support myself financially during university. And I was that close to giving up. But something inside me refused to surrender. Something inside me wanted to keep pushing. So I pushed myself one step at a time. Just like in that bike race when I pushed my tired legs one pedal at a time. So I got myself a job as a waitress and I kept pushing and learning, pushing and learning until I graduated second in class. I also would like to mention my professor Ziad Haddad who saw the passion in me and guided me throughout. He was my first mentor and that experience taught me the importance of mentors. At the age of 23, I started my own advertising company with a rented laptop and an office, which also happened to be my bed. Um, and here I was, challenging big agencies head-on. 
I had no Asta, I had no connections, but I had passion for design and I saw an opportunity that I could grasp. I thought if I can be quick and responsive, I will be able to get clients. A telecom company that was called Fastlink at the time called me the crisis girl. I used to accept jobs 24-7, all day, and I delivered. I succeeded and my company grew and I got to my comfort zone and I felt that I did not need the advice of a mentor anymore. And that's when my business started to suffer. I learned a great deal from that failure. I learned that I should never stop learning, that I have to deliberately and continuously open my heart, open my mind to add new skills, gain new insights and acquire new confidence. After seven years of being my own boss, I needed a new challenge that would help me grow. So I decided to join Aramex and I sold my company and I joined as the brand manager. Eight months down the line, I went and I boldly asked to be the marketing leader. I was afraid, I had my doubts, but I pushed myself, went head first, and I made it. From losing my voice in front of the burger guy to finding my voice in front of the CEO of a global company, I had built my confidence and I wrote my own story. I strongly believe that if you bet on yourself, people are willing to bet on you. As for the race, I am happy to say that I completed the course. And if you allow me to brag a little, I actually came first. Doubt, skepticism and negativity can make goals seem unattainable. But if you want to write your own story, keep pushing.